Welcome back to Terra Filmograph, Season 6, Episode 34, with me, Sid, and I am attired for warfare as the sun sets behind us, soldiers and creepers. Okay, wonderful. Let's make sure that everywhere is closed, because somehow... A zombie managed to get in last time, and uh, that was not a good time to be had by anybody. Uh, at least this time, we don't have to worry about... Oh, missed him. Okay. Well, as long as they're outside, I really don't mind. Um, you know, Mr. Creepy there. He can't really do much. Don't even know whether I can hit him at this range. I know I can hit him with this at this range, though. Wow, that was five damage. That's, uh, okay. Now he's gone. Uh. Jump. No, okay. So, we know we've got Creepies down there. We know we've got Zombots down there. And we've still got Polar Bears down there. And uh, all of my garden plots look to be, apart from that one and that one, appear to be mainly frozen, so that's a thing to be aware of. I don't know whether if I could just get a few more... ...kills on this... See, I managed to get five dummy. I mean, there you go, there's one down. I'm not going to get the experience, obviously. And there's literally no way they are getting up here to me. Because I'm definitely way too far off for them to, to do any... Where are my cows? They keep him well away from that creeper. Can't blame them. <laughs> I think I'd keep well away from a creeper if I was a cow as well. But um, on the whole, oh god, I need to make sure I don't just wander off the edge. That would be uh, embarrassing. Definitely hear lots of uh, dying, which is nice. And we should. Whoa! I saw that. How are they getting up there? Quite prepared to fireball these guys to death if they're somehow managing to do weird. Weird stuff down there. I don't know how they're managing to achieve that. But um Somehow they were achieving it. All right, well, looking. There's definitely somebody pottering around down there. But he's dead now. It's just, so the only Mob I can see hostile is that one. Uh, 
Hello. Yet the only thing that appears to be out there, apart from that polar bear, right, I need to take a chance. There's a creeper there. Let's give it a dose of fireball. And another one. Damn it. Don't you go in there with the cows. They've never done nothing to you. Well, I've got to have these rup rupees. I don't know how I get the blue rupees though. Yeah, the only... Hostile entity that I can see left over here is Mr. Creepy there. I would like his experience. I can't see any other hostiles on the map, so let's quickly sneak in, grab his gunpowder and that was actually a much easier invasion night than uh, I had any right to expect. God, but I'll tell you something, this snow doesn't half slow you down. Anyway, let me just drop off this, get myself sorted out, and we can, uh, we can see about, well, some stuff like doing things. But that is that's getting a bit more powerful. Hopefully, I can upgrade all of those. But <clears throat> again, we'll find out. Right. Yeah, I'll be back in a moment. Right. So, what's the plan? <laughs> the plan. I've just been away. I've just been off testing things because um, what I would like to do is proceed towards getting Tinkers going. Now, Tinkers requires us to have a controller, smeltery controller, as well as all the other bits of the smeltery. Smeltery controller requires us to have a blast furnace, which requires us to have eight double iron sheets. Each one of those is four ingots, so that's 32 ingots of iron to make a blast furnace. Um, bellows, that we can handle. The crucible we can handle and the seared bricks. We, if we get a stoked kiln, I think is the way we're going to have to cook this. I don't know how we do a stoked kiln, but let's worry about that one. First things first, we need more iron. We've got nine, we need 32, which means I need 21 more iron ingots. Uh, and so far we have got a reasonable amount we can set a i can set another 24 going and we can handle handle the off off bits um as we go that's fine and we can also go and mine some more because there's plenty of it we're a little bit shy on charcoal again <laughs> yeah, I think this is going to be a theme for a while. But let's get this stack of, I think it's eight and a half, eight and a bit ingots going. And uh, we can take it from there, I think. But yeah, so this is going to be another iron heavy episode. I have worked out how to get lava. Um, now that was actually... A little disconcerting um, but there you go there's that's off let's head over to the iron mine and we'll get some more iron question mark actually but and somewhere there we go we've got our Hopefully, mob. Oh, God, don't kill yourself today. I shouldn't bring any pr 
props with me. God damn it. Um, I mean, we can still work without props for a while because there's plenty of exposed iron, but at some point we are going to have to trigger a collapse or something, uh, which quite frankly is scary as hell. Um, hmm. I mean, if that one under there were a thing, but I can't get to it. <laughs> uh, or at least I can't get to it easily anyway. Which is largely the problem I've got with most of this stuff over here now. I'm very reluctant to get too carried away with the collapsings of the cave. But uh, we are going to have to take every little bit of exposed hmm oh damn it right uh, yeah I think I'm gonna have to go and get some more but there's a whole load of this about it's not going to take me that long to to get myself sorted I'm gonna get some props uh, some more jack-o-lanterns and maybe some more chiseled wood and I'll be back uh, wood stone and I'll be back in a bit before I start mining I'm actually setting a uh, pick a uh, charcoal pit running um, I have bits out there wondering why am I running around so slowly um, and then I've just realized that I am actually still wearing my combat armor and not my workaday leather stuff so yeah I do need to go and change that but uh, not until I've got all of the timber that we chopped down of this tree. I've chopped down the little tree. There's a another little tree over there. That tree, whilst massive, is right next to a wizard spawner. So we ain't going to be playing with that. That tree might be viable. But, you know, we just need... We need one charcoal pit running. So we've got charcoal to run the furnace at the other end. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that is a thing that we, uh, what, what, what we does need. Let me get rid of you there for a second. See how much of this I can. So I need another four, basically, including that one. Uh, I'm on a new, <laughs> on a new, uh, thing. I'm going to just run up to that tree. I don't think that's going to get me enough between it, but that one and this one over here should do. So we'll uh, we'll do that. Get the charcoal pit running. I'm going to change my um, armor. This is Wizard Spawner Central. And uh, we should be good to continue we'll see I mean I might get I might get oh a hole two two maybe out oh there's another let's not waste not one not run away little grouse I think it's a grouse is it a grouse quail <laughs> similar small bird which seems absolutely pointless to eat when there's perfectly good bigger birds like chickens and turkeys Although by that logic, ostrich should be probably the predominant meat that bird fowl that we scoff. So, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, I over over analyze things on occasion. This will do. This will get us a reasonable fire pit going. So, uh, yeah, we can. I mean, it's only like five logs short so and it hardly seems worth worrying about does it just fill you in i think next episode i'm gonna to have to take a break from everything um progression and do a little bit of building because I feel like I'm doing everything is all about the forge at the moment, which is kind of normal for a TFC thing, to 
be honest. Uh, right, where's my door? Let me go and change my armour. At least then I can move a little bit swifter. Because that is really slowing me down. Now, apparently the thick quality is what we ended up with, which is also what we don't really want. So if we ever remake this, then we'll aim not to get that. Uh, and while we're here, I might as well freshen up on my fluids, grab that, and we'll head back and do some more mining. I'll be back in a bit. Well, that's been a pretty good mining trip. I think it might be night time, so we really need to get up and out and teleport home as fast as we can. We have got a... I use the word thunderstorm, but um, it appears to be snowing and thundering, which I'm not even sure whether that is a meteorologi meteor meteorologically a thing. <laughs> However... In terms of sheer raw ore, I, I think we're good for iron for a while. <laughs> There's absolutely loads left in there. It, it's, it is seriously off the chart. I haven't used any of those. Um, I did use an awful lot of these chiseled blocks, however, but you know, that's fine. Um, so what we do need to do, first things first, is have a drinky drink. Uh, have a sleepy sleep. Head off back and check on the status of our pit kill. Uh, pit kill um, charcoal pit. Pick up the charcoal. Run some more blo blooms. Hiccup. And uh, make this bloody iron. Because we're going to need to make a lot of iron. <laughs> so, yeah. Luckily, we appear to have quite a lot. That's 840, so the next one will be another 840. Which will be 1680. Uh, what did I say? I need a 20... 32 less 9, 23, so I think three blooms will be close to enough, um, but that's only one step of the process of course, and that we do have to bear that in mind, that um, in addition to all of this, there is a whole load of other things we need to do, which are going to be just as much fun. I use the word loosely. Um, however, let's not beat around the bush. Let's get this um, dug up. And then uh, I can see about doing another uh, charcoal kiln somewhere else. Because this is not going to be enough for the long run. We really do need to come up with a... Um, Something similar to what I did last season with like a permanent charcoal oven. Uh, but I'd like to try and come up with something different to what we did last season, if at all possible. Because obviously, you know, just doing the same old thing every time gets old quickly. But, first things first, let's just deal with this one. I'll be back in a sec. I have a little bit of a conundrum. And I'm not entirely sure how to get around this. So, after this episode, we're definitely doing some building for a while. Because I need to see some comments. So, we are building up our blooms. With an aim to making a blast furnace. So we can make a smeltery controller. That is simple and fine and all doable we can make bellas that's fine we can make crucibles that's fine seared brick on the other hand 
seared brick is going to be awkward. Because you see, seared brick is made from seared bricks or seared pavers or whatever. And of course, one of the ways to do that is to um, get the, if I can find the right one, there is a option to pour seared brick. Uh, none of this is helping. Seared brick, on the other hand, well, you can make it in a smeltery by melting stone stuff. You'll notice none of this is terra firma grass stone. This is all just stone and grout. But of course, to make a smeltery, you need seared brick. So, how do you make grout? Well, grout you make in a stoked crucible. A crucible is an unfired crucible, which is some clay on a turntable, which obviously we need to get into the that stuff. A uh, turntable requires raw tie and gear, which <laughs> requires us to do things. And you see, you see the problem I'm seeing here is catch-22, because you need to put grout in a stoked kiln which is a better with mods beastie um, uh, a kiln is bricks four bricks on the side one on the back with flame source underneath however a stoked kiln requires a hibachi or habachi hibachi hibachi what a, a thing <coughs> Well, we need redstone. We haven't got any redstone yet. That's the first problem. We need a heating element, which requires blaze powder. Okay. We also need concentrated hellfire, which requires us to get hellfire dust, which requires us to have ground nether rack, over soft sand, with a filtered hopper. Um, and we cause nether rack, we need to put through a millstone. Millstones are fairly straightforward, but, you know, that's fine. But, of course, you need mechanical power for all of this. And if we look at better with mods... You've got a variety of things. You have got the... Um, if you cast your mind back to Sevdic Ages, if you watch that series, you have got... Um, well, where are we? I'm trying to find the water wheel. What, the water wheel? The water wheel requires wooden blades, which have no recipe, or using the immersive wheel segment round a log but an immersive wheel segment requires you to have treated wood planks now treated wood planks require you to have creosote creosote requires you to have a coke oven coke ovens require you to have seared bricks do you see my problem <laughs> so i can't power a hibachi which is going to be awkward enough to get in the first place Without without having some access to some treated woods and the likes, I am lost as to how I am actually supposed to do this. Because of course, to get the blaze powder and stuff, well, then I need to start playing with uh, either going to the nether which requires obsidian and obsidian of course requires lava which requires me to do either blaze rods or this is definitely getting my head in a tizzy here i'm losing <laughs> losing direction on how i'm actually supposed to achieve this this thing because I don't know how I'm supposed to get seared bricks in the first place. I can't even make grout because grout requires not just a crucible. I mean, I could live with a crucible. Crucible over a fire source, that's doable. No, no. It has to be stoked. You can tell it has to be stoked because it has to have the blue flame. Oh. I mean, crucible recipes, stoked, crafting, 
in fact that it's only given me stoked it's not giving me any other option uh, I'm stumped stumpty stumped stumpter than a stumped thing on a stumped afternoon in stumpsville that's how stumped I am um, yeah I can't help feeling that this, this we haven't tested this pack this far. Whoever tested it, I might need to go and have a look to see if there's a newer version of the pack. Because um, I'm running 2 1.2.1, so I might need to go and have a quick peek at that. But I'll be back in a moment. This has still got four hours to make that, I think, so be back in a move. And... By the magic of editing, otherwise known as going away and coming back sometime later, there is a stack of what? Uh, 8, 16, 33 ingots of iron. Isn't it gorgeous? And utterly pointless if I can't make those bricks. So, where we are right now, apart from. Um, up a well-known creek without a paddle is um, oh frozen sandwich is lovely is I can push forwards doing vanilla TFC I could make a blast furnace we could make the blast furnace infrastructure I could then go through the process of making steel upgrade 14 ingots of steel to make a steel anvil then go for black steel black steel make a black steel anvil red steel make a red steel anvil I think I don't don't need a blue steel anvil to make blue but I would then need blue steel we can make the buckets we can do all of that and that if I'd wanted to play vanilla terra firma craft I would have played vanilla terra firma craft um, I am playing modern terra firma craft I'm going to sort so have to sort this bear out because he's going to get really awkward if I'm not careful um, yeah I mean we'll play modern terra firma craft there's a reason why I picked There we go, lovely. Bit of bear steak for a bladder. Yeah. And, uh, well, you know, we know there's another polar bear over this direction, but I'm not going to kill it yet because it's not actually causing me any grief. So, we are going to next episode concentrate on a little bit of building. We'll try and expand on this a little bit, uh, a little bit of decorating, and uh, ultimately we will try and get to a point where we can progress. But I'm just getting my head turned around in circles by the interactivity of these mods. If I pop you in here, how. 87 days that'll do I'll cook it later it's frozen solid now 87 days should be more than adequate for me to use it um so on that note a somewhat shorter episode than I planned because I was hoping to get further on but we are somewhere I mean I've got a whole load of iron I could probably make some iron armor if I wanted or iron tools but not entirely sure which direction to go right now. On that note, thanks for watching, guys. As usual, comments welcome, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.